Okay, this is going to be a video on this here little gizmo. Good friend of mine in the sunny, warm state of, or uh, era, province, excuse me, of Newfoundland, Mike White, clued me in on this. Started using a four cell battery on my quad, but I'm running um, camera and video transmitter off of the, that same battery. So I needed a voltage regulator. Now this is technically called a DC-DC 3 amp buck converter adjustable step down power supply module LM2596S. Now the fun part is I got them from well parts on eBay five of them for six dollars and twenty three cents free shipping so five for six dollars and twenty three cents from good old eBay okay and they came in like ten days or so from China and they all look good soldering looks good on them okay what is it and how does it work Basically, it's an adjustable voltage regulator. You can put a screwdriver on this right here and adjust from whatever, I think you can go like to 18, 20 volts into the thing. I'm not sure exactly, don't quote me on that. But you can put a four cell in and get down to just a couple volts if you need it. So if you want to run a camera, five volt camera off of one, you could. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set this up. And what do we need to simple. make this work? Well, we need the input and output wires. So I went on eBay and bought a hundred JST plugs, male and female. So for this, we're going to need the male plug, the little one, right here. Then I went on eBay and got a bunch of four cell balance leads which also come with the other end also. Also. Redundant. So you end up with both ends like this. Now what we really need is this end. And those are hard to come by. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to take two of these wires and we're going to snip them off. I just got a brown one and a red one. Okay. So here's what basically all we need in the way of parts right here. Okay. These two little wires that plug JST and the voltage regulator. Okay. There you go. Now Let's go ahead and do the outside of this one right here. Now this is hard to do in the camera, but I can handle it. Now, I don't know whether you can see it. Right here it says out minus, out plus. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of solder on the tip, probably all I need, and I'm going to do the negative first. I'm going to brace my finger against the table. Okay, that's all it takes on that. I'll put just a little bit more solder on here. There you go. 
Now let's turn it around. That's the out going to whatever you're going to feed. Uh, clip this on there. Now, I'll tell you what, let's do the same thing over here. Okay, we need to look. Okay, show you how to do this. You need to look on your battery right here on the balance lead and set that on there like that and mark the negative side. Let's mark it on both sides. Okay, that black marks the negative side because you don't want to connect this backwards. And this can only fit on there one way. It's got little clips on it. Okay, so let's check it up in here. Like this and let's do the negative one first hard to get soldering gun in there well this is minute stuff all you gotta do is touch it Okay, let's do the same thing with the other side. The opposite side is... Okay, just touch it on there. Let's take a look at it. Good soldering joints. Now, negative, let's do the negative side first. Okay, this is N plus N negative. Same thing. Clean that off. Put a little solder on the gun. I'd like for there to be just a little bit more on that one. Yeah, that's better. It's getting a little bit of that insulation in there, so I clean it in between. Okay, now let's do the red one. I'm trying to do this quick so it doesn't take so long for this video. There you go. This is in, and we got our plus and minus right. Red, red, black, black. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and connect it to our battery. Then I've got a voltmeter. I'm going to slide it under the camera. There we go. Then I'm going to stick this end and the negative end like this okay and take the positive probe and it should tell me that I have 16.21 volts okay now watch I'm going to try to do this the other way with my other hand so I can get it in there. We're going to put the this tiny screwdriver there we go. Now we're going to turn it you're going to you turn it a lot. That's several turns you can see. I want to turn it to where it's just slightly more than 12 volts. Okay. Let's go 12.3. Okay. That's not going to hurt because if you hook a 
three cell battery up that's fresh it's like 13 something 14 maybe so we got plenty now the the ideal part of this is this is going to give you a constant 12 volts even when the battery is almost dead because it's what's it's putting out not what it's putting what it's coming into it now there's more to this now we've tested it these ends are very fragile so what we're going to do so we've got our hot glue gun and we're going to put some hot glue try to do it as neat as I can all the way around okay. and then some on this one I'm going to do the same thing with the big plug So what we now have is a way to regulate our voltage. Now there's all kinds of ways you can do this. Now here is one I made up of JST plugs on both ends. Right here. Okay, here's one. I'm, I made a plug by cutting a 3-cell up and widening it. It works, but it doesn't work near as well and by leaving the prongs in the regular plug it makes it fit on tighter uh, you've insulated all those so you don't have to worry about anything there um, this works but I'm going to redo it with one of my new ones because I don't need it now in this one I added some heat shrink you can you can put all kinds it takes a three-quarter heat shrink to put on there but the problem is it adds weight Okay, and then you have to make a hole in it to be able to get to your pot screw. So, and the one I'm going to be using, I'm going to use it just like this. Okay. Here is the finished product right here. Okay, this goes, actually goes into a noise filter and this goes right into the video transmitter and then this wire comes out of that and goes up to the camera then here is my plug right here that will go into the battery that's all right there I'm gonna leave this one open just put velcro on the other side Pretty cool of it. deal this is about one-third the weight of an extra battery even if you put a little one on there still this is the battery that I put on there before and it's quite a bit lighter than that 